Hi guys, I'm here with an FAQ video all about TonyDaily.com wigs. So as you guys know, I launched my first wig, which is the Tony wig, my signature style. And now I have four styles currently available on TonyDaily.com of affordable synthetic um, half wigs that blend with natural hair, which is my favorite protective style or my favorite styling option for my natural hair. And that's why I decided to offer them. So I do have an older video here or here somewhere called styling your Tony wig and other requests where I show a lot of different options for styling half wigs. They're extremely versatile. So if you missed that one, you can definitely check it out. This video is not going to be about styling. It's more going to be about um, information and answering your FAQ since I haven't done a video in a while. So let's get started. So first thing is packaging. I did show the packaging in my initial video, but since then a lot of you have asked if I could please not put the word wig on your box. Now my logo used to include the word wig, um, Tony wig, for example, but I've changed it. So let me show you the current packaging. It's still a very plain, nondescript white box. That's the label right there. A tiny little label that says, this one for example says Big Chop 1B33. So the word wig is no longer included and it has my website. So to answer your question, yes, I will not put the word wig on your packaging. Now the second question I get asked a lot is what do you get included? So right now on my website, I include a free gift with all orders, no matter what you buy. Um, but with my wigs specifically, I include quite a few. So you're going to get the wig, of course. You're going to get your care instructions. You're going to get my business card. You're also going to get a package of wig caps as well as two additional free gifts. Now, I've been thinking about weaning that down to one free gift um, because of the amount of complaints I get, surprisingly enough, about the free gifts. But for now, it's still two free gifts. Now, if you're ever wondering what you're going to get included, simply read the description. I will always update the description on the website if anything changes. So if you want to know what's included, just simply read it before you add it to your cart. Currently, you get two free gifts, a pair of earrings and a tube head wrap. If that changes, it will be updated. Now, if you see somebody else receive a specific pair of earrings, it doesn't mean you will receive that pair. The free gifts cannot be selected, cannot be exchanged and are chosen at random. So if you ever receive something that you're not happy with, Feel free to give it away, re-gift it, sell it, donate it, or host a giveaway on your social media. So if you see a style of earring that you absolutely love and cannot live without on the website, simply add it to your cart and purchase it to ensure that you'll receive it. Your free gift will still be chosen at random. So another question I get asked a lot is about the cap construction. Is it a half wig? Is it a full wig? Have you ever carried full wigs? And the answer is, I've never carried full wigs. All of my wigs on TonyDaily.com, including the original Tony wig, have and always have been a half wig. Now the half wig um, refers to cap construction. Typically with a lace wig, you have lace all throughout the cap or majority of the cap to provide natural parting space. Um, a full wig typically has a lace front or a lace part or a fake scalp piece to give a natural looking hairline. And a half wig, has none of these things. It is hair from the nape to the front, no finished hairline with a comb at the front and back. There you go. So that's the cap construction. You can see the hair starts at the nape and goes all the way to the top. No natural hairline, no parting, uh, just hair. It's intended to sit behind your own natural hairline um, to give it a more realistic look. Now, if you wanna pull it all the way forward as you've seen me do with my big chop wig or you've seen other people who have reviewed it um, do, then definitely refer to the um, dimensions, the cap size on the website. And if it fits, then um, you're more than welcome to pull it to the front. Some people like to pull it all the way forward and that's your choice. It's, it's really up to your preference. Another thing that's specific to my particular cap construction that I like to do is I like to put um, tracks of short hair in between the longer lengths. So if I get up close, you could see the long length here and then the short length here. So if you inspect the cap close up, you will definitely see these short hairs, but from a distance, you don't see anything, you just see hair. 
So I intention those short hairs are intentional. They're there to disguise the wig cap. As well, if you guys are familiar with synthetic hair, if you've ever done crochet braids or anything like that, you know that synthetic hair, as it gets older, swells and gets bigger and starts getting ratty. So that's sort of to minimize the bulk as it ages as well. So, um, so yeah, those short hairs are definitely there. They're intended to be there. Um, and that helps with the longevity of your wig, as well as to disguise the actual cap if, you know, you start bouncing around, so. <laughs> Uh, what else do I get asked a lot about? Oh, I get asked a lot about the colors as well. So right now the wigs come in a variety of colors. They come in 1, 1B, 1B33, 2, and 4. Those are my permanent colors. And by permanent colors, I mean I plan on restocking them each month. Um, I do carry other colors, but not on a permanent basis. So for example, during the fall, I came out with 99J because a lot of people dye their hair deep red or burgundy in the fall. And in the summer, I had the Tony wig with blonde highlights, and as well as the Gabe. And again, because during the summer, a lot of people like to lighten it up. So definitely keep up with me on my social media. Whenever I release a new color, I always post about it. But just to answer your question, the permanent colors are those standard colors. 1, 1B, 1B33, 2, and 4. Right now, I don't have the means to stock all colors. I realize that not everybody's hair are those colors. There are a lot of you with blonde hair. There's a lot of you with... Um, gray hair there's a lot of you with henna colored hair but I don't have the means to stock every single color available um, I'm not free Tress or Vanessa or Outre I'm Tony Daly just one person still I can't wait to get there believe me but right now I don't have the means to stock all colors so what I do is sporadically I'll come out with new limited edition colors currently I have the Tony wig available in a 1B C16, which is purple highlights, super funky. So that won't be a permanent color, but it is available right now. I also have the Big Chop wig in 51, which is a gray color. Again, won't be available forever, but it is available right now. And I do plan on coming out with the Big Chop wig in a color 34, which is salt and pepper. Um, probably in March so you can stay tuned for that again keep up with me on my social media I'll post the date once we get closer to it I also get asked a lot about stock so right now I restock once a month and I don't offer more than I can fulfill so I rather have a small amount of happy customers than a lot of unhappy customers if I carry more wigs than I can fulfill or more um, inventory than I can fulfill quality goes down, processing times get longer, and customers get angrier, and that's not what I want for my business. So if you miss out, I'm sorry, please definitely visit the following month. Oh, and my website is updated, you guys. If you go to the wig of your choice and the color of your choice, you'll see a link at the bottom if it's sold out that says, email me when more stock is available. So click that link, enter your email address, and you'll be notified once it restocks. Um, I get asked a lot if I will ever consider coming out with full wigs, meaning something with a finished hairline so you can wear it all the way forward for my locked wears and stuff like that. Um, I will definitely consider it in the future. I hope that I'll be huge in the future and I'll have a ton of inventory and a ton of variety that will fit each and every one of your needs. Um, and yeah, with your help, we'll get there eventually. I will link a few helpful videos down below. I have several styling videos. Um, my friend QO Chemist, who is the founder of Lock Appreciation Day, actually wore hers. Um, she has a full head of thick, beautiful locks. She is a customer of mine. She purchased the Tony wig. She has a tutorial on how she wears it as a full wig. I believe she's going to be doing a tutorial for me on how she wears it as a half wig as well. So um, I'll keep you posted on that. In terms of the styles I offer, I offer the Tony wig, the Gabriel wig, the Big Chop wig. Those are sort of my permanent styles. I recently launched the blow dry wig, which again is a half wig, no finished hairline, and that sort of mimics kinky hair. That one is still new, so I'm still testing the market, seeing how she does, and seeing whether she will become a permanent style or not. And um, the Janet wig, unfortunately, <laughs> thank you for your questions, but that won't be coming back just based on overall uh, feedback. That one actually won't be coming back, but I hope to have, like I said, more styles in the future. I think that's it for now. I think I might come back and do another FAQ video that's more general, like about my earrings as well. Um, but for now, I just want to focus on the wig. So thanks for your questions. Thanks so much for your support, you guys. I love you to death. And um, I'll 
See you in the next video.